Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net. And today we're gonna take a look at the Element 3D plugin. What Element is, is a particle-based plugin that allows you to import real 3D objects with textures. And you'll notice I can move the camera around interactively. I can even change the After Effects lighting and completely change the look of my scene. Now, remember, this is a particle-based system. So what you can do is create some really interesting animations with just a single object. But you can also do a lot more than just that. So today I'm gonna to show you some of the different ideas of what this plugin is capable of doing. What makes this plugin so powerful is our custom built OpenGL renderer. And you can see we have some amazing speed right inside of our comp. Let's take a look at a couple of advanced features. So we can turn on things like depth of field. And this may slow things down a little bit, but you still get some pretty nice responsiveness. So let's take a look at the array option. So I'll just shut the depth of field off. Each element instance has group options that allow you to do things like increase the particle count. We can go down and control the particle look. So we can scale the particles down. We can randomly rotate them and we can even change what the shape is. So we can use some primitive shapes like a ring. We can also load a complete OBJ model and use that as the vertex position. So there's a lot of cool different ways to create animations, but this is only one part of what the plugin does. So let's take a look at a couple of other examples. So here we have this watch model that looks really cool. Let's take a look at what it's really capable of doing. This is the power of the animation system inside of Element 3D. Let's take a look at the actual project file. So this is in a video file. This is an actual 3D project file. I can take the camera tool, orbit around, and you can see this is 720p we're moving around here, and uh, it's not slowing down one bit. So the cool thing about this is you can do a complex shot like this interactively inside of After Effects. And one thing to point out too, is that this whole animation is done with these six keyframes. So it's animating the dispersion or the displacement of the pieces and it's done with just a couple of keyframes. Now in this example we can see that Element is not just for motion graphics but you can do some really impressive visual effects as well. So here we have this Black Hawk helicopter and we can actually move around the lighting in our scene to try to match our background plate. Now we can go inside the element scene setup to see how this all works. So basically I've got this model imported of this Blackhawk. You can see we've got some nice reflection mapping. Now it's not true ray tracing, but it does look really, really good. And this is a 100,000 polygon model that's rendering extremely fast. And it's got some really nice high quality textures. These are some 4K maps with specular and normal bump. So really cool capabilities and you can import them as OBJ or Cinema 4D files. In this example, we can take a look at the particle animation engine. What it does is allows you to animate tons of particles in really intelligent ways. So the cool thing is it's fully dynamic. So check this out. I can change the direction of this effect and pretty much play it back right after I make the change. So it's almost sweeping down and you just make a few changes and there's also tons of great options for refining your animation so we can turn up the randomness which kind of makes the animation look a little bit less smooth or we could turn the smoothness up and make the animation a little softer during the cascade so there's really some amazing capabilities and i'm just beginning to scratch the surface so let's take a look at a couple of other examples here so here we have a pre-fractured piece of geometry that can be animated as well. So it doesn't actually animate with physics and gravity, but it has a really intelligent animation system that interpolates the position of particles. So you can sort of create some pseudo destruction. Again, in this example, we have some pre-fractured geometry that's breaking up into pieces as it falls away. So really, really cool. And again, the speed is pretty decent. So we have this complex simulation and I'm able to actually drag around in the scene and I can reanimate and do some really great things. 
Another impressive feature is the multi-pass options. So here we have this missile, and I can go ahead and solo this so we can see what it looks like. And let's say I want to isolate the illumination so that I can create this nice looking glow. Well, what you can do is go into the output and change the output mode to any one of these different options. So in this case, we can set it to illumination and create a pass that allows us to add a specific glow. We also have a built-in mixer. So the mixer allows you to dynamically composite those different passes such as specularity. So let me just punch up the specular or let me bring the reflectivity down a little bit. You can even turn the illumination down right from the multi-pass mixer. So this is a great way to animate the different properties without having to worry about a bunch of different layers together. It's all right here ready to be edited. And if all of that wasn't enough, you can also create some impressive 3D text. So we can take a look at some of the options here. Uh, we can you know, fly around this, it looks uh, really cool. And again, we have some impressive control over how these pieces animate. So we can control the random rotation, we can do a random size, we can do all sorts of different things just like with the other examples. Except in this case, we can just make some great looking titles. What makes all of this possible is our custom user interface. So if we open that up, we can take a look at how this works. So here we have our object. Now we can select our object, we can select our material and make edits to the material. We can also come over to the presets and apply some basic shaders. We also have a separate product called the Pro Shaders. And the Pro Shaders is a collection of 200 different materials. So I can come inside here and we just see a ton of different materials that you can drop right onto your various objects. And uh, you know, they look amazing. And they all look really impressive. They have bump maps, spec maps, color maps, and they tile perfectly. So you can use them on logos and text. So if you're doing a lot of titles or things like that, it's a great way to get started right away. There's uh, some translucent types of materials that are uh, really interesting. So if we turn on you know, our environment, we can kind of see what that looks like. There's ice and some other uh, you know, interesting looking uh, materials that uh, you know, are just fun to play with. Now, the last thing we'll talk about are the Video Copilot model packs. So if you're looking to get started right away with a bunch of great models that are already set up to use inside of the plugin, check out the different packs. Uh, the Projectile Weapons Pack has some really cool stuff in there that you can use right away. You've got some shell casing, guns, missiles, axe, uh, you know, we'll have a whole list on the website. but all of these models are ready to go and there's also the sound and music collection and uh, this contains some really impressive objects that are ready to go we've got the headphones inside of that collection here we've got the sports section which I mean if you look at some of the quality on these models uh, you know it's amazing and they're fully customizable so for example if this looks too shiny you can go into the specular bring that down and there you go. There's a lot of capability there and they're not just single small objects. We've got things like a baseball stadium that uh, you know really cool looking. There's other objects like this boxing ring that uh, just has some great detail. Now if you're into motion design we have a really cool collection for that that contains a bunch of abstract elements that you can use with the plugin. So there's things like liquid meshes so these are really impressive you can kind of shut this off here and all of these objects can be animated inside of After Effects so we can do things like go into the pro shaders and uh, you know create some really interesting looking uh, surfaces and you can combine them with uh, you know with other objects as well so it's not just one thing you can combine multiple liquid meshes together as well as you know animate them so we got some orange soda here and uh, you know there's tons of different variations you know that you can use for your motion design work this collection has over 250 models there's things like arrows that uh, really look nice and uh, you know I'm just I can't help myself but I always like to take some of these metal materials and uh, apply it to the uh, objects because 
it just completely transforms what these uh, what these look like. So it's uh, very impressive. And the other packs, like the Fresh Food, are really great for motion graphics as well because you can take these objects and create particle arrays out of them. You've got some fruit, you've got uh, vegetables, and the quality of these objects, you know, are, are pretty amazing. You know, they've got spec maps, reflectivity, um, you know, so some really, really high poly models that, uh, that look great. So be sure to check out those packs. And uh, to see an example of that liquid in action, let's see here. I've got this uh, energy can that kind of comes around these, uh, these liquid models. So the pieces are animating, and so is the camera. And, and this is just another cool example. Here's another example using the, uh, the gun and the shell casing kind of flying out. I've also used uh, an Action Essentials explosion to uh, make the slow motion muzzle flash. Well, hopefully you can see all the fun opportunities of using this plugin in your design work and your visual effects work. My name is Andrew Kramer. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.